everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and it's great to see you all watching today, as Reality Based presents Doctor Who Drops, with low ratings and a dying popular culture. Can it be saved? So I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative. But first, for more videos like these, be sure to subscribe, because the truth is Reality Based. Uh, January 6th, wink, wink, nod, nod. But uh, yes, Doctor Who has suffered a ratings uh, drop as it slowly stagnates through the specials and the the lowest rated Christmas special ever, like in its history, because I don't think they did Christmas specials in the original run, but uh, I never watched the original run because I'm 24 I years old. They, I want to say yes, Mm -hmm. Um, but I would have to consult with other people because my memory, mm -hmm. it, my brain's constantly running That's and everything, fine. And, it's fine. and my memory is like here and there, but mm -hmm. I do believe that they did do a Christmas special. I know, if, I mean, it wouldn't be a Christmas, it wouldn't be a Doctor Who without a Christmas special, mm -hmm. like the True. classic ones. Because mm -hmm. every other show that I remember did a Christmas special some way or in one fashion or another. It's there. It is there. You just have to see, like, okay, where are the Christmas decorations? You would have – that's the number one thing. If there are Christmas decorations, it's a Christmas episode. Mm. If it's if it has decorations in the movie, it's a Christmas movie. People are arguing with me about Die Hard being a Christmas movie. I say, yes, that is a Christmas movie. <laughs> it takes place during Christmas. So, yes, it is a Christmas movie. Well, That's my I'll two cents on that argument. <laughs> in, in, well, thankfully, we, we talked about this on Reality-Based Entertainment, and I cut it up into a Reality-Based Presents video. But one thing is clear, ladies and gentlemen. Doctor Who, in regards to its recent Christmas special, was an all-time low in viewership, especially for a Christmas special. And I'm sure this woke reboot of the gay brown doctor, as I like to call him, will spectacularly fail. If you can only get about five, six million views for a Christmas special when it used to be easy 10 million, easy. I mean, nine, 10 million, definitely. Sometimes as high as 15, 16 million views, just in the UK alone. If you can only get five or six, it's just, it's over. You'll be lucky to get three or four in a standard series, especially with that doctor who is not the Doctor. He doesn't have the razzmatazz of the Doctor. He's just gay and brown. His eccentricism, he, he's eccentric, ladies and gentlemen, because of those characteristics. There's nothing he brings to the table beyond paper-thin attributes. Just like with Jodie Whittaker as the, uh, as the Dr. Karen. Just bare, thin attributes barely changing throughout her run. As we saw with previous Doctors, though, they did have character arcs, they did develop, they did change, they did become better over time. But we haven't seen that recently because of political correctness, because of social just justice, and because of identity politics. Add all three together, AK, and that creates woke ideology, in my view. So there's the answer to what is woke. You are... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? You uh, insinuating bastards who are probably devil worshippers, too. Mm. You are correct. Because mm -hmm. if you look at it, I can easily tell. It, it, it's gotten to a point where you can just tell who is a diversity hire versus an actual actor or actress based on mannerisms, mm -hmm. how they act, how they speak tone of voice i can make a perfect example dark phoenix a perfect example everybody knows what a disaster that movie was because it let slip hmm. the one the one line that pissed everybody off was that x woman knew, yep that one <laughs> that's when i knew it was political that's when i knew because and Fox was doing it. Fox. Of all places, too. Mm. Um, but yes, the 
the, the people who do this stuff, who do the diversity hiring, yes. I mean, we've been doing that since the days of uh, Blazing Saddles and uh, and all other movies. Birth of a Nation. You remember that, that film, too. AK? Birth of a Nation. Yep, mm -hmm. Birth of a Nation. And also... Uh, Total Recall and mm -hmm. all all the classic movies. We have been mm -hmm. doing this. For, I mean, we have. I mean, for for fuck's sake, we had Lawrence Fishburne. We had um, so many different act, black actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. Even it. Even um, it's funny how you can only mention even, one. <laughs> uh, Duncan. Duncan. There's Duncan mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. who who played um, the Kingpin in the Daredevil 2004 movie, and also in. Uh, Will Ferrell's movie Talladega Nights mm. and many others. There and also Terry Crews. He, I, uh, Terry Crews, one of my favorites. Very versatile love, actor. Mm. Very versatile. I love he, and you can tell he enjoys it. He loves doing what he's doing. He does not care what it is. He's been in, he's been in the old Spice commercials. Do you name it? He's done it. And that's diversity. Said, it. Diversity does have a role but as a peripheral role, not at its core. And this is the problem we see, especially with, with Doctor Who in its current form, ladies and gentlemen. Diversity, inclusion, equity, add it all together, it does equal tie, not tie, blooper, uh, die. And if that is the core of your product, it's not going to succeed. It's literally going to die. I remember the days when they literally called it D-I-E, not D-E-I. You know, DEI is woke subversion, ladies and gentlemen. Do not fall for it. Call it what it is. Diversity, inclusion, and equity. It stands for die, and if you embrace it, it will kill you. It will kill your product. It will kill your generations, and it will destroy everything that our glorious ancestors created, despite the barbaric hordes of natives and uh, brownies trying to destroy our great civilization. Don't forget towel heads, too. Uh, they tried to destroy it, too. But uh, our ancestors done them in just like we should do away with this diversity, inclusion, and equity being at the core of modern franchises, especially Doctor Who, which was one of the first to be infested, even before Star Wars was infested. But the infestation's gotten really bad. And I think it's going to kill the show, especially with Disney now at the helm. Especially, it, it will. It, mm. it it will kill it because look look at what the pay, it, pay, pay, people pay attention to what they're doing. Because if you see somebody, if you see a post saying, "Oh, we don't care about the source material," that is a major red flag because that means they're going to screw it all up mm. one way or another, and it's not going to be good. And people laugh at that. It's like, oh, that means nothing. Hmm. Look at look at how much money Disney lost in a in a year. A year. Look how much actually combine everything, all the all the box offices in the last four years. It's well in the trillions. It hmm. has to be in the trillions by now. It if just you combine goes... every flop that they've had, mm -hmm. it's well past our national debt. Or halfway there. Well, I'll tell you this, AK. It just goes to show they're not financially based, are they? So there's something else at work here. If you can afford to bleed out that much and still keep on going, financially speaking, there is something at work behind all of this, trying to build a nefarious force to, uh, to reset our civilization in a very great, great way. Uh, in their view, which is why we'll get into more detail in regards to that on the pilot episode of Reality Based Politics, January 6th, 2024. I personally think Doctor Who is doomed. It is destined to die a third time. Uh, 2018, 2020 with the Timeless Child, 2018 with Dr. Karen, 2023 with the Gay Brown Doctor, and uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully it's cancelled. Um, Put on a shelf for 20 or 30 years. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, uh, it it goes to the public domain in like 2063 or something. Because it's like, when did it start? Like 1963, I think. So yeah. Yes. You so imagine? Somewhere in there. Hopefully somewhere I'll still be there. alive. 
I'll be able to hopefully play as we'll an old doctor. Mm. Hopefully we'll still be, be hopefully we'll still be here if, if if this country doesn't do itself in. Don't worry, but my good I man. See, I, I, I see it happening with other because the only way mm. now many people are like, oh, this is dead, that's dead. That may be true, but there is a way to, to reverse this. Oh yeah. Fire fire the people who are who are the problem. If there's not if they're not part of the solution, they're part of the problem. If you get rid of the people who are writing this crap, get actual people that love the show, that know what the lore is and everything, get a director who would love to like uh who would love to who just love the product and everything, you could have a very successful show. Look what look at Battle Angel Ailita. That was based mm -hmm. off the actual anime. It did really good numbers. It was good. The Super Mario movie of last year. We had four sellouts in four weeks. Mm -hmm. Four weeks of massive sellouts. We couldn't get anyone else in. We had to turn away 26 people because it was that full. Damn. And believe me, it was difficult to do that. But unfortunately, what could we do? And be, and I went and watched the movie. I loved it. It stuck with what what made Mario Mario. The, he had the to core. Learn. He the the core. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and and we're not. We don't expect Mario to be perfect. We don't no. expect the movie to be perfect. We don't. Mario has to learn one way or another. Just like when we learned when we first played the game. It's like that. He's learning. We see us learning like he is doing. That's mm -hmm. the way I look at it. It's like, okay, I got to learn this. And by each one he did, he didn't give up. He At the end of it all, he knew that whole thing in and out and knew what to do. Just like we did with all mm -hmm. our stuff. We always learn. But the one thing. The one thing you can learn from that is the minute you give up, it's over. Exactly. The minute you give the minute you give up, the minute you throw in the towel, there's no coming back from that. We're not we're yeah. not going to give up to a bunch of fucking oh, rice no. farmers. I'll tell, I'll, who go, I'll tell, nah, 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 I nah, I nah, love, <laughs> I, I, I love here's the thing. I love China. I love their culture. I have respect for the Chinese people. It's the government I have issues with. That's mm -hmm. mainly it. Mm -hmm. I would love to go and visit China anytime. I would love to go and visit, see the sights and everything. But I would never live there. Because everybody knows communism is going to go only one way. And that's down. Look what happened. Look what happened to the Soviet Union. Look what happened to Vietnam. Look what happened. We All know gone. what happened in the Soviet Union, AK. We we learn from them. <laughs> Doctor Who but is going to fall. <laughs> Just like Super Mario is going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, you can speak your piece and then we'll move on to, to future plans, AK. Fire away. Basically, guys, if, when you keep an eye out for people who are who are sticking to the source material, mm -hmm. support those who respect the source material of the show and everything. We support them; they get the funding, and then they're on their way. However, if people are like, "Nah, forget the source material; we'll throw it away," don't support. Walk away. Be like, "Okay, you people, you people, fucking suck. We're, we're taking our business elsewhere." That's what you do. There's competition. The people think, oh, there's no competition. There is. You're just not looking hard enough. Exactly. Go over there. Go over, go over to the next person. Fund their project. Mm -hmm. Take it away, Ryan. Go ahead. Why, thank you, AK. Now that's Reality Based presents Doctor Who Drops with low ratings and a dying popular culture. Can it be saved? Along with a bit of banter, back and forth, and all sorts of shenanigans. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and no one else, bye for now, folks.